Hi, I'm Dana from thebrokeassbride.com and today I'm here to show you my very favorite easy peasy lemon squeezy can't mess it up great for yourself great for a gift fun any day craft and that is we're gonna make some felt barrettes you can do felt barrettes in any different style or shape or size or color that you want um, I picked up some felt at Michaels in various different colors you can get just a normal pack of plain barrettes to use with these You'll need a heavy duty pair of scissors to cut through your felt and make it into the shapes that you want. And then you'll need your trusty hot glue gun, my very favorite. So you can do anything you want. One of the things I love to do is cut out like lots of repeating shapes and different sizes and layer them like I did here with this headband. Um, it's real easy to use your felt crafts and apply them into all different sort of accessory ideas. Um, you can also, as I learned after cutting out those hearts, use sort of a inversion effect and do like a stenciling kind of idea. So I just finished making this one based off of that previous idea. It's a tiny little sweet barrette that I glued onto the um, template barrette and added a little layer of felt in between. And I think it's really adorable. Let's take a look. What do you think? Good? Thumbs up? So. To show you one, I made this really fun, big statement, funky barrette idea with some um, purple and blue felt and layering circles of different sizes. And we're just gonna quickly get out our trusty glue gun and one by one, just put the glue around, get some in the middle. You don't want too, too much. You don't wanna soak through the felt. And it's messy, but embrace the mess. You can't fight it, so just embrace it, love it, feel it. It's part of being an artist. And then some more right here. I love this craft because you really can't go wrong with it. I mean, you can be as creative as you want. You can be as daring as you want. And if you mess up, just start again or recycle it for a different project. It's really inexpensive, so you can play around with it as much as you like. And it's a great thing to make for your gifts for your bridesmaids. You can even make them ones for them to wear in your wedding. I'll have matchy match. You can do it as a little thank you gift for anybody in your life that you want to just show you care. And uh, you can make it for yourself because I know you care about yourself because you're learning how to make crafts. You're enriching your life right now with me. Ain't that nice? I think it's nice. So there's going to be like the spider webby gooeys. Just pull them away. Once you have your circles all glued together, then you'll just need to grab your barrette. And it's important to note that these things are concave and then convex when they're opened and closed. You wanna make sure that you glue it down when it's in closed position so that it lays correctly on your head when it's clipped into place. The best way to do that is to get a little square of extra felt and put it into the clip like it's your hair. This will prevent the back of the clip from being glued down along with the front. So once you've got this all set, then just put a wallop of glue all around and lay that puppy down for its last rest. <laughs> Morbid, right? <laughs> Making barrettes. <laughs> and once you can feel with your fingers that the glue has cooled, it's essentially ready to be worn. So you can try it on right away and admire your masterpiece. Just gotta pop that baby in. What do you think? Does it look marvelous, darling? I hope that whatever you make looks marvelous and I hope that you have lots of fun trying felt crafting for your accessories. And if you have any requests for future videos, send them to requests at mahalo.com. If you have any questions, click on the links. And I hope you come back and see me, Dana, from The Broke Ass Bride next time. In the meantime, I'll catch you in the felt aisle. Sending your requests to requests at mahalo.com. <laughs>